all right so real quick <laughs> thank you guys for for bearing with that whole little thing at the end of the last episode i was really debating cutting it out entirely but i don't know like i said it it, it felt like a therapy session that i was really really overdue for and i keep laughing at the fact that it was because of ivy tran food court detective but that was a that was a legitimate little mental breakdown i'm not even gonna lie so thank you guys for bearing with me on that one um sunk cost and all that episode 11 sunk cost fallacy i remember that's when you've like invested too much into something that you refuse to back out uh did anything else of of note last episode we saw princess carolyn give a nice little speech to diane to make her understand that you know she doesn't have <laughs> i'm so happy it wasn't about your boring life <laughs> i love pc i would I, I would be okay with the pc judah spinoff mr peanut butter you know what's funny is i really feel like i'm good with the whole mr peanut butter story the only thing that I really enjoyed last season was the the crossover scene. Just, I guess, how happy he got at the whole thing. But, like, I feel like we've all come to terms with the fact that Mr. Peanut Butter's kind of an asshole. He's a, he's a lovable asshole. Like, Bojack isn't a lovable asshole, but we love him anyways. But, yeah, with Mr. Peanut Butter, I'm, like... Like, this is the last season, so I get all of the loose ends got to get wrapped up. Maybe this is just the Mr. Peanut Butter one. Like, I feel like Diane, we're already... Like, I feel like if, if Diane gets one more episode, we're good with Diane. I feel like all of her plot threads... She's happy with Guy. She's writing Food Court Detective. She's realizing she doesn't have to be miserable. That fucking... What was all that mis... I could have been happy this whole time. What was all that miserableness for? And then fucking... I can't just be like that. It's not that easy. Yeah, I know. But wouldn't it be great if it was? Fuck. Got, got a little bit of goosebumps just now just saying that. I actually... I forget where it was. I was watching... There's a bunch of video essay people that I watch online. And one of them had the same screenshot that I used for the last episode of Ivy Tran talking to Diane. He, they had the same shot, and I don't know if maybe just that scene meant something to them too, but that's, that's the beauty of BoJack. So let's watch episode 11. Let's see if this one breaks me the fuck down. I like that the last episode is called Nice While It Lasted. Oh, that's right, he fainted. Aww. He can't. Really? I mean, she already kind of knows. I do declare! <laughs> Mr. Peanut, but I must, I simply must find out all that you know! I'm gonna blast this song for every episode as the send off. Why would they have that kind of a phone? <laughs> it's a message. <laughs> Of course, PC looks at it, yeah. 
That story is super sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> they get it, but PCs, PCs used to shit like this. Okay, okay, you're right. I've been sketchy, but there's there's no story here, right? Unless New Mexico isn't the story. Uh huh. Uh, what? I'm just saying, if I tried to pitch that story, no one would publish it. It's about it Sarah Lynn. Yeah. What did you do this time? I haven't done anything. Since I got out of rehab, I have been on my best behavior. But before rehab, no. They can't get me on old shit. I'm <laughs> a person now. This That's not how that works. Or a combination of things. So they're gonna combo me? Let's take a beat and figure out what the story is. Todd, earmuffs. On it. Bojack, tell us every bad thing you Oh, this is like the shield. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah. I'll talk about the shield they afterwards, because that actually, and there is a very big correlation there. The dishwashers all quit? It's the small plates. If we just had bigger plates, we could get more stuff on them, and we wouldn't need so many. I've been a dishwasher. I would hate this fucking job. Just seeing that fucking, just seeing that dishwashing thing sends me into fucking, like, Vietnam flashbacks. What? Pickles is starting to. I loved Pickles at first. I thought she was a. Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe they referenced that! Listen, Lo Fi Chill Hop Study Beats to Relax To is my. It's all I listen to all day long. That's my favorite thing in the world. It, it's legitimately become my, my new favorite genre of music. Her and Princess Carolyn would get along like gangbusters. Are we allowed to say that still? They fall in love. Uh huh. That's a personal matter. I'll tell you all about it. He's got a whole. Hold on, I want to pause it. <laughs> Penny abandoned Russell Herb. Stole Hollywood sign. Didn't act in Secretariat. Blew up the Taffy Factory. That's the one underwater, right? Pretending giant Todd head was passing fuel for carpooling. Took muffins from Navy SEAL. Lied about getting radio head. <laughs> Ruined lizard funeral. <laughs> okay, we're good. No, it's not fair. If you start listing every single thing everyone's done, then destroyed rock lost. opera, Nobody slept with Emily. Anyway, they're so perfect. I bet there's dirt on them that we could dig up. I don't think that's yeah, it. Yeah, that'll just the thirsty leech is what happens when they try to tear someone down over their past without even considering the possibility they've changed. Have you changed? Yes, obviously. Because this. Yeah, I was gonna like say. Old Bojack. I need to go put Ruthie to bed. Call me when. He's such a fucking good dude. God, I love Todd. See the way that she follows him across the restaurant like the puppy dog she is. How they bicker and flirt. Why would she fall for a dashing cat like Joey Pogo when she's already engaged to sweet, dependable, predictable, safe, boring, perfectly <laughs> adequate Mr. Peanut Butter? Thank you. <laughs> because she has to. For work. Otherwise, she finds him utterly just. Those lazy Susans have gotten way too much fucking <laughs> laughter out of me. She loves him, though she'd never admit it, even to herself. Ah, they're kind of in love. Inappropriate in the weeks leading up to her death. Oh, they were closer than thieves. They were thieves, actually. They broke into my house together, like great friends do, and stole our clothes. As I That's right. They were they were pretending to be. It's always weird hearing the name Joseph. That's the only like name that I went by for the longest time. I never liked Joe till I got older. Jesus. Look, we're not gonna figure this out tonight. Stole Daniel Radcliffe's fruit basket. Come. Hello. Yes. Um. Speaking. Jack Horseman. Uh, what night did I see Bojack with Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn. 
There's stories about you and Sarah Lynn. Uh huh. <sighs> well, uh, that was. Uh... Why would you fuck in a freezer? Well, see you later. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get. <laughs> he's gonna give her a fuck. Hey, I'm sorry. I was kind of a dick to you earlier. I can't even commit to a social media director. Why not? I'm just having a hard time finding someone. Oh, she's to gonna be his social media director. Sexy? That's exactly right. You totally get me. So, if you think of anybody who could be good for the job, I mean, I whatever. They deserve I each know. other. All right. I'm headed to the airport now. Mr. Peanut Butter should just be single. I'm driving at world tours all by myself. At least I'll have the empty seat next to me that I always book for extra comfort. <laughs> I'll be at gate six. I'm just saying this in front of you. <laughs> we can spin this. Yeah. What are we spinning? You went on a bender with her. At some point, you split up and she died. Uh, That's the story, right? Uh, you need to tell us what's coming. You just left her alone. An addict with heroin. I didn't leave her. I was with her. I was with her the whole time. I was with her when she died. Like, with her, with her? In the planetarium. I left and came back and pretended I'd found her that way. I never told anyone that. It's really bad, Bojack. Yeah, that's real. The reporters know that. We can still figure this out. I'm tired of trying to figure things out. Let me just have this one night. Aww. Aww. Close the door. I want to see what these two say well, for best old man, by themselves. That's me. Look at Diane. No, I, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. They both know that, like, that this really does mean something to them. That's it. Thank you. And I just, I want you all to appreciate this time and how special it is and how fast it'll all go away. <laughs> okay, everyone, enjoy your party. <laughs> You could actually see the looks on PC and Diane's faces. Like you could you could see the mental process they were going through. That's really impressive. Tragic, isn't it? What is? I just keep thinking about pickles and poke. Finally acknowledge that they love me. He's thinking about him and her. Yes, to me. Oh, right. So you know better than anyone. Well, someone's up to something. I can tell you that. Where the fuck does she keep getting these phones from? He's a good guy. And you have no idea how torn up he was with Sarah Lynn. In fact, he was with her in the planetarium when she overdosed. He actually gave her the heroin. Oh, I thought he yeah, never he told, told that. Oh. That drunk. And then he said, I've never <laughs> oh, Jesus he Christ. So why don't you just leave him alone? <laughs> Jesus Christ, peanut butter. Oh, Max, it's all coming together. I could just about kiss someone if I had someone here to kiss. Get in on it, Max. to discuss the story? It's cooking now. So <laughs> you know, I think our story is about as wrapped up as a mummy. Wait, Paige. I love you. Uh, I love you. Oh, mm -hmm. Max. Of course you do. Everybody does. <laughs> I'm Paige Sinclair. And <laughs> eh, you gave your shot, buddy. So what happens when the story comes out? What do I do? A statement about how sorry you are about certain parts of the story, but other parts of the story just aren't true and so you've apologized for the really bad stuff without legally implicating yourself that was a, she she knows Sorry. yeah no, it doesn't why are you telling him the lie because it works because this is good this bojack here is good this is working but it's so precarious well i'm not going to lose my job here right oh of the course Sarah Lynn stuff, that has nothing to do with you this. will 100 percent lose your job you're about to get pushed out of a plane we're running a story thursday next about your relationship with Sarah Lynn. Yes. No. <sighs> All right. And did you use heroin with Sarah Lynn during those last weeks? No. That gives us a week to plan. We can minimize damage. We are not doing anything. Uh, please. I can't be a part of this. No, come on. You gotta understand. I have a book to write. About IV Tramp, food court oh detective. Oh my god! They're all making out out here. Go to your door. <laughs> <laughs> Let her go, peanut butter. Come on. You don't need a fourth wife. 
I just saw that his first wife is Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. Go on Joey's tour. Have a good time. And we'll plan the wedding when I get back? Yeah, sure. Sure, Pippa. Yeah. When you get back. Nice. Sounds like a good compromise. Nice. Yeah, the best. Everyone gets what they want and no one had to compromise. Oh my God, I gotta go. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I cannot tell you how many times I've been in that position. My relationship with Sarah Lynn was complicated, as relationships between addicts often are. This story has started an important conversation, and I look forward Ugh, to... Ugh, this just it. sounds so fucking accurate. Just, there's no way to not sound like bullshit. Yeah, but that's what fucking works. No matter how many starts I get, there's always the same ending. Everything falls apart, and I end up alone. I'm still I was going to say... She cares about you. I have loved you for twenty five years, and I never loved anyone better. That kind of love, you only get it when you're young and stupid. And when I tell my daughter the story of the great love of my life, I want it to have a happy ending. Is it possible you letting me go is the happy ending? I've gone with you this far, some cost and all that. Some cost. Yeah. Some cost. <laughs> I'm just gonna come out. Diane is right. We need to go through it. Bojack? I need to take responsibility. Come on, do it. I want to. So you can tell your daughter you help you do the right thing. You sure? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 90s. Hillary Swank. I'll jack the horse and I'll knock down you down now. Is Hillary Swank? Is Hillary Swank? What's her face? Paige? That's the only person I can think of. Am I more man than a horse? Oh, she's Joey. <laughs> she's Joey Pogo. Oh. It's funny, every time I think of Hillary Swank, I think of the next Karate Kid. That was the first Karate Kid I ever watched. I never saw the original ones growing up. I haven't seen her do a whole lot after that. She was in Million Dollar Baby. I watched that. That was a good, that was a good movie, but, you know, kind of for, forgot about it. But she's Joey Pogo. That's too funny. Who plays, actually? Let me see. Who plays uh, Paige? I did this for Harley Quinn last episode. That's how I found out about... What the fuck is her name? Belle? I forgot, Jesus Christ, man. I forgot how many voice, or how many people they've had as actors on this show. They've had so many fucking voices. Like, this might be... The only thing that I could think about having a, having a cast this pronounced is surprisingly the Ninja Turtles 2012 series. They had so many fucking actors on that. Look at this. Leif Shriver, George Takei, Cree Summer, Joel McHale, Tim Meadows, Chloe Moretz, RuPaul, Naomi Watts, Fred Tat... I can never say his last name. The Hulk. Vincent D'Onofrio, Rufus Wainwright, Tessa Thompson, Jay Moore, Amy Schumer, Ricky Gervais. This is... This is ridiculous. This legitimately might be one of the most amazing fucking IMDb's I've ever seen. Neil deGrasse Tyson. The universe is one with all of us. <laughs> my short, my big hands are short and useless. From my Gravity Falls fans out there. Oh, Aisha Tyler played Sextina. I didn't even realize, I didn't even recognize her voice. I haven't seen What's Her Face yet. Uh, character actress Mar uh, Margot Martindale. It's funny, I can't... I'm sure that every single person watching this video feels the same way. Do you ever see her in anything and not instantly think, oh, that's character actress Margot Martindale? Like, that character actress is now part of her name in my head because of this fucking show. Paige Sinclair. Paige Brewster? She was Poison Ivy. All right, I thought she, I was... I'm like, no, she wasn't Harley Quinn. The chick from Big Bang Theory was Harley Quinn. That's cool. So she's been doing voice acting. Oh, she's Della. Fuck, man. I gotta watch. 
I never finished watching DuckTales Season 1, and I know it sounds stupid, but fucking DuckTales was really good. Oh, she was Bird Girl in Harvey Birdman. Oh, so she's been doing voice acting for a minute. She was in the Godzilla series? Holy shit. She really has been doing it for a minute. All right, so she's... Sorry, I, I needed to find that out. And it has J.K. Simmons. Anything that has J.K. Simmons in it instantly makes it better. Thoughts and prayers. And Aaron Paul, man. Like, what a fucking... Like, you think of Aaron Paul, you instantly think of Jesse. I don't know. I feel like when I think of Aaron Paul, I think of Todd. Like, you know how some people just, there's certain, there's certain roles that they have that that's just, that's who they are to you forever. I was talking about that in one of the other ones. How I was saying that, uh, like, everybody from Lost sometimes gets to be their own person, but Sawyer is always Sawyer to me. Shane was Shane for the longest time before now he's the Punisher. I feel like as much as I loved Breaking Bad, I like BoJack more. Like, not... Fuck, I don't even know. I'm trying to think, is this Aaron Paul's best role? Because obviously he gets more acting shops in Breaking Bad. He can't keep doing this! But Todd is just one of the... Like, like, Jesse was lovable, I guess, but Todd Chavez? Fuck, man. I love Todd. Look, he's the only one that I've painted. I haven't done anybody else from BoJack except for Todd. Do I like BoJack Horseman more than Breaking Bad? I think I do. So because of that, I think I would have to give Todd Chavez over Jesse Pinkman. I started watching Westworld. I have to finish it still. I just kind of lost... I, For a minute, I thought that they were going to combine it with person of interest and the fact that it was going to be i thought M michael emerson was going to show up and the fact that aaron paul was in it i was ready to give it another shot and then i just kind of pfft, fell out of giving a shit i'm trying to think is there anything else that todd needs wrapped up like i feel like everyone's going to get at least one episode this season to wrap things up yesterday was or last episode was diane this episode was mr peanut butter I feel like the second to last episode is going to be PC. That was such a fucking touching little goddamn... You're the first person I've ever loved. I've never... That kind of love you only get when you're dumb and stupid. Because I get that feeling, trust me. I have... The only time I've ever been in love was 13 years ago. That was the last time I said the words I love you to somebody. And I was very young and I was very stupid. So I get where she's coming from with that. Granted, I was the Bojack in that relationship, for sure. As soon as he told everything and Princess Carolyn was just like, that's not that bad. I was like, ah, she's, she can spin this. If anybody can spin this, it's PC. But yeah, the whole Pickles, Joey, that, that whole thing, I wasn't. I could take that or leave it. So if that's the end of that, I'm cool with it. That's right. I always forget that Kristen Shaw played Sarah Lynn. Because she's always just going to... It's like Kristen Shaw will always be Mabel Pines to me. Like, I could literally, I could spend the next 30 minutes just listing off all the fucking people that have been on this show. And I remember hearing that Jessica Biel, they, she asked the writers, can you be meaner to me? I feel like you're not being mean enough to me. I think it would be really funny if I was myself in the show and you were just super fucking mean to me. I can respect that. That's why she's my girl. I heard she just had a second kid with fucking Justin Timberlake. That motherfucker stole my girl from me point is that this episode didn't make me cry even though it did that whole pc i'm in love with i've always loved you etc etc i don't know if i kind of want them to get together i feel like i don't know i don't know how that relationship would be like i feel like they'd be perfect for each other but i don't know they're just both so broken i don't know how that would work do I ship Bojack and PC before the end of this? Because I shipped her and the mouse dude. I can't remember his name. I shipped them hard. And I was really happy when he came back and she had the kid and all that shit. I thought he was really going to be part of the, the crew again, or the, the show again. But she's she's too strong for that. She's like, no, 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 no. We're done. We're done. This, that whole thing ended. This is the, This is a me thing now. So do I ship them by the end of this season? I don't know. That that whole little 
speech that she gave. I could see it happening. I just don't know if... Like, I just feel like that that, that would end horribly. And I, and I like the friendship that they have. So I don't know if I would want them to get together by the end. With the... I mean, granted, he might ruin the friendship regardless. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, though. I was going to cheers you, but I'm all out of coffee. So, thank you, guys. Ugh, I simply must. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes, I, I simply... This looks too phallic. <laughs> you get the point that I'm trying to make. Ooh, ooh, have a good night.